Hello fellow surfers, welcome to Flavor Tasters, the food and beverage review channel and all things related to food, beverage and health and cooking and yada yada yada, anything basically relating to food. So, we have the veggie cottage pie from Morrison's, it is, I think it's £1.79, let me just get my note up, yeah £1.79, and this is what it looks like, now the light is, well, Let's try and get you under light. Let's try and back off the light. There you go. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. The light's a bit bright. I apologize. The light is a bit bright. That's what a light does. Anyway, so that's what it looks like. And I have kept it in this and it's hot um, because I didn't want the... Uh, First, let's just smell scent. Vinegary um, scent. I didn't want to put it into a plate and then ruin it's kind of what it looks like. Vinegary, maybe it's a wine kind of uh, aroma. Maybe it's just a hint of a red wine sweetness. Tomato. Clearly, the sweetness of a maybe it's a tomato puree, um, but that's in the obviously the t the potatoes. You can smell the potato. It is extremely hot. It's just came out of the microwave. The potato doesn't kind of smell too buttery. Um, it's a slight, it's a very, very slight, um, buttery, maybe, smell, but it's, I would just say it's more predominantly the potato itself. Okay, so it's well seasoned black pepper I can get there. The, the black peppers kind of was at the forefront there. Um, parsley, a corniness to it. Um, trying to, it's a little bit thick. It's. Not too bad. One pound seventy nine. Yeah. Is it maybe it's a little bit on the edge of maybe it's a little bit too much? I don't know yet. I'm going to give it a chance. There's a even from the back in there now a Worcester kind of sauce. Molasses. It's um, like lingering a little bit. A little bit of an odd texture just there. I, I had the aroma of a, like a red wine before, but I'm not really getting that in the flavor. Possibly lentils, maybe, but a little bit overpowered by the sauce. Little bit of a hint of garlic. The mashed potato. It's a nice mashed potato. It's not too bad. It's not as buttery as I probably would prefer it to be, to be honest, but it's not bad. Um, the carrots texture. A 
think that's a lentil um, lamb chum through a little bit stiff rosemary malted barley a little bit of malted barley taste um, back in the end of the sauce okay mm. got that red wine kind of taste there at the back there okay I know how much I want um, a star I want to give this um, I'm going to say that the texture I'm not too much of a fan about to be honest is I don't know if it's a, like a bit of a firmness in some of the ingredients I'm assuming it's the lentils possibly carrot but I don't see that really being the case with the carrot. Carrot has kind of a more of a snapping kind of texture. This one's more of a, a little bit dry kind of a little grey, a little bit of more of a bite. Um, but I'm not really a big fan of the texture of some of the an uh, the animals, the vegetable <laughs> the animals, the vegetables that are in there. However. The flavour's nice. There's a little bitterness to what seems to be either a mixture of the red wine and a tomato, like layer in the back of the um, palate, at the back of the um, mouth, of the throat as well. Um, the flavours aren't too bad. Um, the texture's not brilliant. The Potato could have been a little bit more creamier, um, maybe it's a little bit more buttery. But other than that, um, I'm going to say it's about a six, maybe it's a seven out of ten. Just trying to figure out because it's yeah, I'm going to stick with the six out of ten. It's not quite past six point five, so it's a six out uh, six out of ten, um, probably six point four. Not bad. But it's not brilliant. And I think the price is probably stumped it at below a seven. Below six point five. Because I think maybe it's at one pound fifty, then I could argue um uh six uh a seven, but I think one pound eighty practically, one pound seventy nine. I think that's a little bit of a oomph, a little bit of a yeah, that's a little bit too much, um, but it still tastes nice, so I would probably buy it if I felt like it, but yeah, for me personally, it's all right. I may buy it, but I wouldn't go out my way to buy it. It wouldn't be kind of like, oh, I want to get this because I liked it that much. It's like, yeah, might not get that because it's a part of a deal, maybe. So, what's your view and opinion on this? Have you ever had this before, whether you're a commenter or a content maker? As a content maker, if you leave a comment to this video and you then at the end of your comment say, I have a YouTube channel, this is the name, and this is the title of the video where I review this as well. Come check it out. I'll, if I've got time, obviously, I'll check it out. And if I like, I'll subscribe. If I um, really like it, I'll like and leave a comment as well. But it just depends because I always only subscribe to things that kind of move me to do that so um again it's no hard um you know it's not me trying to be like oh you're not good it's just maybe it's not the type of content that i go for and if it is the type of content i'll check it out now we may disagree in point scoring or whatever um, in relation to the taste and stuff because different people have different palettes and again if you're just a commenter, you don't have a YouTube channel, still leave your view and opinion down in the comment section below. I would love to know your feedback in relation to this. Was that a bit harsh? Should it be a little bit um, better in scoring? Or should it be worse? Was that being a bit too nice? What's your view and opinion? Subscribe, hit the notification bell, select all notifications, strike the like, share the content, and all of the good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm going to finish it off because I'm a little bit hungry. But until next time, guys... I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, check the links in the description. 
join the discord because you get up to three links even if i'm subscribed or not you get up to three links per day just spread them out over the day and um, whether it's three of the same video or one of three different videos join the community on discord and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace mm -hmm.